Welcome everyone to Strata. I'm Rick Farnell, co-founder and senior vice president of Think Big, a Teradata company. We started Think Big in 2010 as a services solutions company to help organizations gain value from Hadoop and the Hadoop ecosystem. And now as part of Teradata Corporation, one of the most trusted brands in data and analytics, we are continuing our investment with an announcement that we're launching Think Big across the international market. So I'm proud to call London my new home uh, to head up this charge to grow Think Big across 40 countries around the world. So the title of my talk, What We Learned in Five Years at Think Big. Now, they gave me 10 minutes, so I, I can't possibly fit it into 10 minutes, so I'll try to have some highlights. You know, please come to our booth, talk to us. There's some folks here from Think Big, you know, technology, process, strategy, use cases, how to be successful, how to set up your data science organization. There's a lot of new stuff. There's a lot of new patterns, both technology and process, that we can help you with. But there is one thing that I learned as an entrepreneur now in both the internet era and the big data era, and that's people matter. You all matter. If it weren't for you, us, we wouldn't have fantastic solutions. Now this slide's a little provocative here at Hadoop World, right? But you could easily replace Hadoop with technology, right? Technology alone has no value, right? It takes people to kind of make things happen. Now if you think about the Hadoop community, I firmly believe that history is going to look back at the Hadoop ecosystem coupled with the internet as a truly momentous time in the history of our planet for bringing together humans and machines and really shaping the future of what we do. So let's talk about us in this room. First of all, congratulations, right? All of us in this room, everyone. We are in an industry, and if you are an engineer, if you are a scientist, if you are on the business side of technology for your companies, you are in one of the most sought after job markets that we've ever seen. I know because I'm trying to hire all of you. <laughs> but can you explain what you do to people who aren't in our industry? I'm the co-founder of a successful <clears throat> big data company, and when we first started out, I had a hard time explaining what I do to people who weren't in tech. And it really hit me a few years ago, my, at that time, 10-year-old daughter, I was reading her bedtime story, she said, Dad, what do you do? And I thought to myself, boy, you know, it's 2000, what, 11 or 12, and uh, I certainly can't use Hadoop and Hive and Pig and Flume and Scoop because even executives that have been in industry, I don't even know what that is. So I had to come up with a different way. At that time, American Express had launched a, a link tweet save program. So I got my computer, I went back into her room, linked my Twitter account to my Amex card, we went to the promotions page, we saw a promotion for Whole Foods. We shop at Whole Foods, spend $75, get $25 back. Right? Great. I tweeted. She went to bed, she went to school, got home the next day, she's like, Dad, let's go to Whole Foods. I'm like, okay. Went to Whole Foods, shopping, rang my credit card through. Literally before I put my bags in my shopping cart, I got a text message on my phone from American Express saying, thank you for your purchase of $85.27 at Whole Foods. We just credited your account $25. I showed her the text and I said, Daddy helps companies do things like that. Right? She said, that's cool. So I remember my first Hadoop World in New York City in 2010. And at that time, myself and a whole bunch of folks, maybe even some of you in the audience today, like, what is Hadoop? What does it do? What are its use cases? How is it different? Can I do this with other technologies? What's so amazing about this? You know, and five, fast forward five years later at the success that this ecosystem has had, and the impact that it's had on the world. And pretty much every major technology vendor and company on the planet and a vibrant ecosystem of startups 
with their strategies linked or tied in some way to Hadoop. I think the question here as we sit in London is not what is Hadoop or is Hadoop going to be used, it's how deeply integrated is it into your data strategies and your data um, operations. So to that point, I want to thank the Apache Hadoop community. From a career perspective, from an incubation, from an entrepreneurial perspective, from uh, a human perspective, some of the breakthroughs when it's cures to diseases, healthcare, advances in agriculture, machine-to-machine -machine collaboration, truly game-changing solutions that this community has uh, provided for. Now, more importantly, what the Apache Hadoop community has given to organizations, and actually, more importantly, to people, to us, are ways to innovate with data that just wasn't feasible in a few short years ago. So let's poke fun at ourselves for a minute. We're in an, in an industry that has acronyms for everything, right? I think a lot of industries are like that. We have our own vocabulary, right? You're going to hear conversations, and you're going to hear acronyms, and, and I get it, right? I mean, I'm in the industry, have been for a long time. You know, we, we typically use data warehouses, IDWs, integrated data warehouses, SOA, ESB, data lakes, data reservoirs. At a conference a few weeks ago, I had, I had to chuckle, and this is nothing against who said it, or, but I heard them talking about a data operating system and really trying to describe Hadoop as how ubiquitous it was going to be. And all I could think of is data operating systems. We're going to acronym it, I know. And did we really get all the way back to DOS? I mean, come on, right? <laughs> so along those lines, and you know, this statement here, again, you know, I'm a, a, a proud piece of, of Teradata, and, and we're you know, doing some amazing things going forward in the marketplace and really a, a bright, bright future. But does it really matter what the data is stored in? You know, the pace of this ecosystem is exploding, right? Kind of it seems like every week, every day, every month, whatever, whatever the pattern is, it's an amazing pace of innovation of new open source projects that are relevant that we have to understand how to integrate, right? But the focus shouldn't be just all about the technology, right? Because does it really matter what the data is stored on when you search on Google, when you shop on Amazon, when you fly on Delta, when you stay at a Westin, when you're playing Xbox Live, that streams your Netflix videos, that monitors your house, when your watch connects, I don't know, to your car, when you post a pic on Facebook, when you request a ride on Uber. How about at the hospital with your kid? Do you really as users, not people building this stuff, I get it, but as users, do you really care what is under the covers? No. The value is in the solution, right? Focus on new capabilities. These sets of technologies represent an opportunity to do things that we could never do before, right? I challenge all of you to go back and create something new, sponsor something new. And you know what, start, just like I did with my daughter. Start by explaining what you do, whether it's in your business, in your offices, to your colleagues, to your business, or technology, wherever you are, or to your friends, not in the industry, your parents, your kids. Start describing what you do so they can understand it. Because solutions require great technology and people. Right, this conference, what O'Reilly and Cloudera have put together on a global scale, bringing together you and all of the people that are at these booths, our companies, all of our partners, the talks that are here, get inspired. It's, it's an amazing event. You have two days. You have all taken two days out of your life. Get inspired but I'm going to warn you, 
is I spent a lot of time with business executives and, and have over the years of how to integrate and adopt new technologies into what they're doing, right? And a lot of the conversations start with, how can I remove costs? How can I remove these data silos? How can I reduce this costly ETL, right? And I remind them, leaders of industry never shrank to greatness, right? Focus on something new. If along the way you can improve efficiency and do something a little bit faster, a little bit you know, less expensive, fantastic. But that should not be your going in position. Focus on something new. So when you return to your offices after these amazing two days, recognize that people matter. Support your teams, fund great projects, challenge them to come up with new ways of doing things. Right, and after a number of years of you know, my daughter's lesson and explaining you know, more stories about what I do to my family, when my kids are asked what I do, by their friends, you know, now they just tell their friends that their dad helps companies think big. Enjoy your time at Strata. Thank you very, very much.